Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Overkill Trading. I got the watch list for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at some charts. I got it loaded right here. We got about 10 to 20 names. I'm talking about CRO, Zcash, Dot, Hims, Match, Airbnb, X, Snapchat, Silver, Cat, CLSK, UPS, Mara, Ethereum, Super, Tesla, and more. We're going to be going over those charts here during this video so sit back get some popcorn and for those of you who are new welcome i want to give you guys a quick brief overview of what we do here on this channel we are technical traders we are not day traders we are swing traders meaning we are looking to capitalize on trades over days weeks even months sometimes and i want to explain the strategy real quick for you guys just so you have a grasp of what it is that we are looking at so we use a specific trading indicator on this channel that is this indicator right down here you can see on my screen and the green dots are our indications to buy and the red dots are our indications to sell so very very important the first thing we need to do on the trading indicator is we need to look at a monthly chart so the reason we look at a monthly chart first it, it is because it is the longest term time frame that you can look at okay the monthly chart will tell you okay which direction we are going in the macro time frame so if i have a green dot on the monthly chart if i have a green dot on the monthly chart that is telling me that the the price action is going to be up for the next two three four five months and let me use an example of bitcoin for example Okay, so you can see down here, this green dot came in 2023. Let me zoom out so you can see this. This green dot right here came January 2023, right there. The price of Bitcoin was $18,000, okay? And what did it do? It went up for one, two, three, four, five, six months, okay? Pulled back for two months, gave you another green dot right here in October, Okay, and went up for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine green candles in a row, pulled back for three. And you're getting another one in November right here on Bitcoin. So we're going to be bullish on Bitcoin over the next three to four months. So therefore, we are looking for trades on the name. So rule number one of our trading strategy, guys, which is this is the most important rule to understand. Okay, the most important rule to understand. Okay, we have the trading rules right over here. Okay, again, we focus on a monthly and a daily chart. Okay, we enter and exit positions using the trading indicator. If you guys do not have the trading indicator, you can come over here and click this. And there's a link right here that you can click on and it will load into your chart just like you see on my screen. You'll get all the technical indicators that I'm using in a couple of clicks loaded right into your trading view account. Okay. So again, green means buy, red means sell. We only buy assets with a monthly green dot on the with a green dot on the monthly chart. Okay, and the reason that is is because we want to be trading with the trend. Okay, we don't want to be buying Bitcoin during this time when it's going down. Okay, this was the last bear market of Bitcoin. It went down from December 2021 all the way down here to December 2022. That was a year of just going down. Okay. We don't want to buy assets that have a red dot on the monthly chart. We're only looking to buy assets with a green dot on the monthly chart. Okay, and that is rule number four. And then rule number five is where after we get the green dot on the monthly, we are then buying every single green dot that we get on the daily. Okay, maybe not every one. The, the best ones to buy are down here. Okay, when the wave is down here. Okay, but you can see this entry set up here on the 6th, right there at 69,000. We got the signal on the daily, and it and it's now up at 92. So, again, monthly dot first, and then wait for the daily. Okay, so the daily dots are the day we are entering. But we only enter on a green daily dot if the monthly chart is in our favor, because we want the macro move to be up as we are entering. Okay, if you're entering on daily dots... During this time, back in 2021, okay, December of 2021, during this time, oops, hold on. Okay, let's go back to 2021 real quick. All the way back, here it is, okay? This is 2021, okay? You're entering here, you're getting killed. You're entering here, you're getting killed, okay? You're entering here, you're, you're getting killed, okay? You're getting killed, okay? 
you want the move to be up and to the right. So the most important thing to understand with our strategy is that the last dot on the monthly chart needs to be green, okay? And then after that, we're just looking at the daily chart and we're waiting for the pullbacks and the green dots, okay? So a lot of these names right now, what I'm waiting for is a pullback. I mean, Bitcoin has gone up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 days in a row. 12 days in a row, okay? When you look at the cheat sheet over here, okay, we don't want to buy when everybody else is excited and piling in, right? We want to buy after a significant dip, okay? I'm talking about 20, 30, 40%. Okay, maybe 20 to 30 percent is a good general rule. But really what we're looking for on the daily chart is like a, a minimum of a four candle pullback, a four candle, four red candles. Boom. There's your entry. Rip. It, okay. Four red candles entry. Okay. You probably got stopped out there, but then you're back in on the green dot and then rip it. Okay. So I want to I want you guys to understand the strategy before. I, I start answer I start going over these charts because I'm going to show you guys all of these charts are going to have setups. Okay, there's going to be there's going to be some big setups uh, going into next week. Uh, if you guys want to know how I organize my watch lists, it's pretty simple. I have a video on it. Uh, but the red list, if it's on my red list up here, it has a red dot on the monthly chart. So you can take a look at CELH. So this is not something we're looking to buy. Boeing, not something we're looking to buy. AMT not something we're looking to buy, okay? Swift, maybe, but ICP, red. HNT, red. NEO, red. Uh, Matic, red, okay? We're not looking to buy any of the red list names. So I organized this before I hop on here just to show you guys so I can make this video a list, little less lengthy. But, you know, ideally, the blue list, my blue list, these names have a green dot on the monthly, but what I'm waiting for is a bigger pullback on the daily because look at XLM right now. We called XLM out right here on the 6th, okay? We called XLM's dot right here on the 6th. This was called out in the Discord at 9 cents. It's already up 120%. So as traders, right, we want that pullback, okay? When the wave is way up here, okay, just like it was right here, just like it was right here, we want to wait for a pullback, okay? We want to wait for a pullback in a green dot. So these names are all green. I'm bullish on all these names in the, in the monthly, Okay, and I'm not going to go over this list today, but I will drop it over in the Discord for you guys so you guys can check it out. Let me just do that right now so I don't forget. So I'll just share this list. This is the blue list over here. Uh, and we're waiting for a pullback on these names for daily pullbacks. Okay, and today is November 16th. Okay, so here is the blue list. I will also share the um, the green list as well. I don't know why that didn't just populate, but hold on. I will share this list so you guys can actually load this right into your trading view. So if you click on this, right, it'll pull up the exact same watch list, and you guys can look at these charts for yourself and check them out. But if it's on my blue list, I'm waiting for a daily pullback, right? The move, The move in this case has already happened. Right? Look at Chewy. Chewy's way up. It's up for 10 days in a row. I'm not looking to buy stuff up here. I want to buy stuff down here. So the names in my green list right now are the names we're going to go over that we are getting those pullbacks or maybe we're getting a signal today that we can be watching. You can see Hims is selling off. Uh, Dot is selling off. Snapchat is selling off. So when we get a sell-off on the daily chart, that's when we want to be watching, right? We're watching these names every single day because we want to enter on the day of the green dot, okay? So a name like XLM here, okay, which we just looked at, the next dot that's coming is red. So a pullback, we got to expect is coming. This is a parabolic move. I mean, 100% in the matter of 10 days is insane. That doesn't happen every single day, guys. That, that rarely ever happens. Okay, our goal as technical traders is to be consistent. This move, if you capitalized on it, if you got in right here on the 6th, when we called this dot out, and by the way, every single dot on my watch list, the daily and the monthlies, are called out right over here for you guys, okay? They're right in this thread under the alert section inside the Discord. There's a link to that you guys can join for free. Uh, this is a paid feature, though. You can become a member by clicking this link right here for as little as $4 a month. 
but everything on my watch list is called out over here. All the buy signals on the daily and the monthly charts for every single name that's in all of my watch lists are called out right over there. And on Thursday's video, I showed you guys how to set up alerts for yourself. So if you guys have the indicator, you can actually set up your own alerts if your name is not in my watch list and uh, get those notifications sent to you directly. You can also see them right over here, okay, under this tab right here called alerts. Okay, you can click on that, and then what you want to do is, what I do at least, is, is sort them by time triggered. So these are literally the newest ones. You can see QNT went off today, Jasmine went off today, QNT's monthly went off today. Look at that QNT monthly chart. Okay, that's looking beautiful. Okay, that's looking beautiful, and that's on the watch list today. We'll cover that chart here shortly. We got BCH popping off, Chainlink popping off, Comp popping off, uh, Matic popping off, INJ popping off. We got a lot of names, folks, and we're going to cover all of those today. And uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. If you guys got questions about the strategy, again, it's really simple. You wait for the monthly. If you have the monthly green dot, what you're waiting on is a daily green dot to enter. Okay, boom just like right there on November 6th. Bang, seven cents on CRO all the way up to 23. This is currently the only position I'm holding. You guys saw I cashed out my XRP for 77 cents. I'm getting trolled so hard online right now because I sold like right, right here, okay, and it went all the way up. I sold two days too early, it's all the way up at 120. I made $20,000 and I could have made an extra 60,000 if I would have held, but again, my goal is to never hit home runs, folks. I want to hit, I want to hit singles and doubles as a trader okay i want to be a disciplined trader okay i made about 57 percent on my trade so i mean i don't know how i could be mad right i don't know the last time i made twenty thousand dollars in the matter of 10 days and people are <laughs> i get it i get it people are trolling me because i didn't i didn't sell up here at the very top but again as a technical trader my goal is to never sell at the top i want to sell into the green Right now, everybody's piling in because everybody's getting crazy about it, right? They're saying, oh, my God, he, the CEO was was on Fox Business and all this stuff, right? My goal is to get in before all that, and then I just want to exit, and then I just go find another trade. There's always going to be another trade. Could XRP go to $5? Yes, it could, but I'm not tripping because, again, the chart is overbought to me, okay? Right now, it's just people, people have a lot of hopium. They're drinking the Kool-Aid right now, okay? I, again, if it goes to 3 to $5, I'm not going to be mad. I will not be mad because, again, my strategy I use is, is a consistent strategy where I'm able to make 20 to 30 to 40% on my trades consistently. Okay, consistently. So that's what I'm trying to do here, folks. I'm not trying to hold and, and hold on forever. Okay, I don't want to do that. That's not my strategy. If you want that strategy, you don't even need to be watching YouTube videos. Just buy it and hold it. Okay, and don't look at it. But my goal is to, is to play the waves. Right back here, XRP hit two dollars, and then it sold all the way off to forty forty one. If you didn't take profits up here, you probably didn't like yourself for a while because again, it hit two dollars and then sold all the way off to forty. Like that, that was a seventy percent dip, and there was people buying up in this area, just like how there's people buying right here at one twenty one thirty when they should have been buying down here at, at forty nine fifty cents. Okay, so again, we need the monthly green dot. And then we look for entries on the daily after we have the monthly green dot from the indicator. So let's jump into these charts here. The first one I'm going to go over is CRO. This is the only current position I'm holding. I didn't call this one out in the Discord because I thought it was a little bit of a risky trade. I'm up around, I think, around $5,000 on it right now. Uh, I entered at about $0.15. Cents, but you could see the dot on the monthly is green. So what I'm looking at here on the daily chart is I was playing this I was playing this candlestick pattern. So I use the Hakashis, the Hakashi candles. So you guys can actually switch up your candles. I use I'm sorry, the Hakayan Hakayan Hakayanashi. I don't know how to pronounce that. But those are the ones I normally use. But I also use the normal candles because I'm able to look at um, candlestick patterns. So this was a 3-day pullback and I entered right here at about at, at about uh, 15 cents and then it shot up to like 18 and now it's sitting at about 16. My stop loss on this trade right now is 15 cents, okay, which is where I bought in at. So I practically have a break even trade, okay, so 15 cents is like right here, okay, so if it goes down and breaks that trade, my guess is it's going to come down to 10 cents, but you can see we have a green doji candle. So I could actually probably move this stop loss up here at the end of the day if we close. 
to about 15.5, which is originally where I had it. And then they tried to stop me out earlier today. You can see they shoved it down all the way to like uh, 15.7. And they were trying to get me stopped out at like 15.5, which I thought was hilarious. My stop was, so I, I moved it down to 15 just because I don't want to play around with the market makers because they will do that. They will try to hit your stop losses uh, if you set them too tight. So I try, I'm trying to loosen up a little bit just because of how the market is, right? I'm thinking CRO could go back to 23 cents, especially with the monthly dot here. Because again, on the monthly dots, we got to expect the next one, two, three, four months, at least four months are going to be up. So my target on CRO is going to be around 40 to 60 cents uh, for a top here on the monthly. And I'm just trading the daily right now. So this is, a, this is more of a risky play. I don't like entering when the wave is up here very much. But I am predicting that a green dot is going to come tomorrow, okay, tomorrow on the 17th, when this candle closes today at 4. So, again, got the monthly comp or confirmation down here, so I could be bullish. I could just not look at it for two or three months, and it'll probably be up here at 60, 70 cents. But I want to I wanna pinpoint my entries, right, pinpoint my entries. So the stop loss on this right now is going to be 15.5 on CRO. My, my entry on that is 15 cents. That's the only thing I'm currently holding. Okay, and I'm all in on it. I have like a, a huge position on it. Uh, and and Zcash, Zcash, this monthly dot came right here uh, back at $27, $27. You can see right here, boom, it's sitting at 48 right now. Okay, so let's take a look at Zcash's daily chart now that we have the confirmation from the monthly. And another thing I like to pay attention to on the, on the indicator is this light blue line right here. We call this the stochastic RSI. So this is a momentum indicator. Okay, and the best time to buy is when this thing hits zero. Okay, just like it was back here in October. You can see October 3rd, it was at zero. Okay, and the zero is just over here. Okay, that was at zero, and then boom, green dot came there on October 5th at $26. It shot all the way up to 41. That right there is around a 60% gain. Okay, 55% in your pocket right there. So uh, again, pulled back ripped up and right now it's sitting on the floor and coming off of it so this would be a good one to enter today i'd be using a stop loss at the bottom of the green candle at 38 but it is up 15 percent on the day so that's something you need to keep in mind 15 percent is a big risk what i'd be doing is watching the hourly chart if we can get a pullback to like 40 dollars today that's a 10 percent dip but if it happens that'd be a good entry but looks very very volatile right now so understand that the, the market we're currently in is very, very volatile. These moves can happen, right? It can flush 20, 30% overnight. Okay, that's why you guys got to be tight with your stop losses. And I just use 37 as a stop here. And uh, I'd, be, I'd be betting on a green dot coming either tomorrow or even today. But again, we got a nice one, two, three, four candle pullback and a green dot, boom. There's your entry candle. And again, that green dot should come tomorrow it's a little overextended for me right now right 15 percent is a is a long way up um so i'd want to buy an hourly pullback into the light blue line here into our blue line you can see that was resistance that was resistance uh that was resistance okay and then it broke out over it and now it's just absolutely mooning so we might this is a little bit more of a risk right because we're sitting at the top i'd want to see a pullback on 40 this but that's why it's on the watch list we're going to watch it this week Here's a polka dot. Polka dot's got a green dot showing today. So again, the dots up here when you're entering are more risky than the ones down here because we've already had a big move. Okay, these entries up here are, are you're pretty much betting on a parabolic move happening over the next week. And it could very, very, very likely happen. Okay, you can see polka dot weekly charts pointing straight up. Target on polka dot would be probably around $8. You can see the monthly dot hasn't even came yet, but we have a green candle on the monthly here. See? The green doji candle, that is a reversal candle. Okay, that is a major reversal candle on the monthly. So this one looks really good in the macro. I'd be entering it if you want to take a position today off of this, but you need to use a stop loss at $5. So you're risking about 10% of the downside if that goes the other way on you. Again, what you could do on a day like this when it's up 10% is watch the hourly. And if you get the hourly pullback, okay, like you did back here, that's where you can enter. So 530 would be a great entry. But if you're entering right here right now, your stop loss needs to be at the bottom of this green candle right here at $5 on Polkadot. Okay, that's Zcash and Polkadot. Let's take a look at new NU. Okay, I think this is a bank, like a Brazilian bank. 
and they're, they were down 7% on Monday. Uh, this is a stock, by the way. So what do we got? We got green. We got green on the monthly. Okay, green, 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 green on the monthly. So what are we doing? We're watching the daily now. Okay, and you can see it's pulling back. So we're not scared of a pullback, right? Because most likely we were out before the pullback happened. Okay, because again, we're not taking profits up here. We're not trying to time the top. We're trying to get out around the top. Okay, and you got the red dot there on the 14th. That came right there at about 1560, 1550. And then it flushed down to 14. So looking for a double bottom on this one on thir off of 13. That's where it sold off into here. Again, just waiting on the green dot confirmation for an entry. But we got a two-day pullback. Again, I like at least four red days in a row for an entry. And we got two right now. So what we're waiting on on this is a couple more days of pulling back. If we can come back and tap 13, okay, and get a green dot off of that, that's going to be a great entry. This is a stock. Okay, that's a bank stock. Uh, HIMS. What do we got on HIMS? Okay, HIMS is green on the monthly. Uh, this thing has ran very, very hard over the last uh, over the last year. I mean, this thing was five dollars and it hit thirty. That was an eight hundred percent move since uh, last year. Actually, at this time, exactly eight hundred percent. Meaning, if you put in ten thousand down here, you now have eighty thousand dollars if you sold at the top here. But you could see this thing selling off. So two big. Fa I mean, that's a 30 thirty percent pullback in two days. Okay, 30% in two days. Okay, that's a that's wonderful. Okay, if we're traders, we want that. We want to see that. Okay, we're wanna, we want to wait now, and we want to capitalize on the next green dot. So, again, if it's on this list, guys, if it's on my green list, if we're going over it today, we are waiting for a green dot because we enter on the day of, okay, the green dot. And we can try to anticipate the green dots like I'm doing on CRO right now by looking at the doji candle. Okay, I also like to play these doji candles when we're looking at the Hakashin. Okay, if you get a pullback and then boom, a doji candle, this is an entry candle as well. I either enter on a doji or a green dot on the daily as long as the monthly chart is green. Okay, that is what we are looking for. So hymns, again, we want to wait for either a doji or a green dot. We love to see stuff pulling back 30% in two days though. Okay, we like those quick big dips. So once again, let's wait for the stochastic RSI, the light blue line, to get back down here near zero. And then let's wait on a green dot or a doji candle after this pullback happens. But I, I'm really liking the pullback here on HIMS. And I think their company, they are making a lot of money, okay? Because you can look at their earnings. They're beating. They're crushing their earnings, okay? Crush their earnings. Crush their earnings. That means the company is making money. They're doing better than expected. They are growing at a faster rate than expected, which is good when it comes to the stock market. Uh, Match, M-A-T-C-H, this is the online dating app, uh, I believe Tinder, they own Tinder and they own a couple other dating apps, obviously that's really big right now in the world, uh, thank God I'm married, I don't got to worry about that, but you can see their revenue is about a billion dollars a quarter, okay, you can see their revenue right here, they missed a little bit, they missed by about a percent, and that's what caused their stock to sell off, this one's a little more risky just because you got a red candle here, but you got a green dot, Again, I like to see stuff sell off like this. Okay, I mean, this was a, a, what was that? That was a pretty big pullback there, right? I mean, look at all the red candles. That was a 20% pullback in the matter of a week. Okay, and you can see now the candles are getting smaller and tighter. So I like this one next week with a stop loss at 29, call it 29.90. I mean, your risk on that one is going to be 2% to the downside with a stop loss there to make 34% all the way back up to 41 into our Bollinger band here. This is the this is the this is a sell target. Okay, when we hit the red line here on the Bollinger bands, okay, that is normally when we like to take profits. Okay, another place where you could be taking profits, just like you could there, just like you should have there before it sold off, just like you should have there before it sold off, just like you should have there before it sold off, just like you should have there before it sold off. So if it goes back up to that, that's a that's $41, $42, which is like a, what did I say, like a 30% gain from where we're sitting. Okay, so again, our stop loss is at the bottom of the low here. We're getting the green dot on, and that's going to be around $30. So I put a stop loss at $29. Just call it $29 on the stop loss, and uh, I like it. I like how it's getting tight here. Yes, that could break and we could go lower, but uh, I mean, for a company that makes a billion dollars a quarter, that's a pretty good, looks like a pretty good entry to me. Again, I'd rather enter off a 20% dip than a 20% rip, okay? I'd rather enter on a dip than a rip, 
okay? Inverse this on CRO and red candles all the way down, you'd wanna be buying this. Most people are buying after it goes up 200%, right? No one's buying down here at seven cents because nobody's talking about it, right? We're in a stealth phase, okay? Nobody's talking about it, it's quiet. But up here, when you should be taking profits and selling and, and locking in profits, that's where everybody wants to be a part of it. Because again, the smart money, the people that are loading up, okay, at these prices down here, okay, at seven cents, they need somebody to buy in order to sell. So this is where retail and everybody on Twitter and everyone's getting excited because the XRP CEOs on uh, Fox Business, right? That's where those guys are selling. The smart money, okay, these are the these are the hedge funds, the the millionaires, the billionaires, the trillionaires, the people who own all the media. Guys, six companies own all the media, okay? Six different CEOs own all the media in America, meaning they control what we see. So they want you excited up in this area. They want retail thinking, oh my God, we're going to the freaking sky, right? We're going to the moon, okay? Because they want to sell their shares and their coins to you guys, okay? So keep that in mind. You guys need to have an exit plan right now. Another thing I want to point out over here is that we got the fear and greed index, Okay, look at the fear and greed index right now. So when the greed index is up here, and it's at all-time highs, it's at the highest point since 2023, okay, higher than we were in, in at the top in 2024. We're at 86 right now. What this indicates is that retail investors are piling into the markets. They are buying crypto in droves right now, okay? They're buying crypto in droves, which tells me, okay, that we are somewhere in this area okay smart money's going to dump it there's going to be a dip there's going to be dips along this this run up okay if we're really going to run up into 2025 and, and during 2025 there's going to be pullbacks okay pullbacks are going to happen there it's inevitable nothing goes straight up xrp is going to pull back eventually there's going to be a place where pe someone's going to take some profits and this stochastic rsi is going to come down here that there's never been a time on xrp where the stochastic rsi the light blue line has not pulled back, okay? There has never been a time where it has not pulled back. So again, you guys are asking me if you should sell XRP. I sold it at 77 cents. So uh, don't be asking me. <laughs> I locked profits right here, baby, right here. Boom, I missed it by 40%, but I'm not even tripping, dude. I'm not, I don't, I'm not mad. That was the right thing to do at that time, okay? When the wave is up here, this is when, we are in this area, somewhere in this area. I want to sell up here and I want to buy down here. I want to wait for a dip on XRP because a dip will come. It's not going straight to $15,000 like every other YouTuber uh, is telling you. Okay, it's not going to go straight up. It's going to have dips. Everything moves in waves. Okay, we move in waves. That's how these markets run. They take profits, they sell it off. 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 Okay, we're playing the waves here as technical traders here, folks. Okay, so again, if you if you're thinking about selling, if you if you feel like selling, if you think you should be taking profits, my advice to you is to sell a percentage of the position. Sell 25%, sell 50%, sell along the way, guys, because you don't want to get caught holding the bag, because that's where you get depressed, right? That's where that's where right despair hits when you're up when you're up 200% and all your gains, you go back to zero, that's when despair hits. And then you go down that mental psychological cycle of like, oh shit, I should have sold. And then you start making bad decisions. Okay. So my advice, if you're sitting here asking me if you should sell is to sell a portion. If you feel like you should sell, if you're questioning in your head, oh, should I sell? Should I sell? Should I sell? You should probably take some profits. Okay. I'm not saying sell the whole position. Maybe sell 25% of the position or half the position and then let the rest of the thing ride. And then if we do get a dip, you can put that you can put that money back in on the dip, okay, and then ride it back out. So that's my advice, guys. I, I can't sit here and tell you guys where to buy and sell exactly. I use the indicator. So I'm not I'm not telling you to buy or sell. Okay, this is the indicator talking, not me. Because if XRP goes to five dollars and I'm sitting here telling you to sell at a buck twenty, you're gonna hate me right? You're going to absolutely hate me. Okay. And I don't want that to happen. I just want to be consistent. I want you guys to be consistent as well. Okay. We're trying to hit singles and double singles and doubles. We're just trying to get on base. We want that consistent, right? Consistent. Boom. Buy, sell, buy, sell, 
by self. Okay, that is what we are looking for, folks. We're not trying to knock it out of the park every single trade we make. We're not shooting for home runs. This move is very unrealistic. Okay, very, very unrealistic. It doesn't happen. It happens once maybe every four years. Okay, what we're seeing right now is a super cycle. Okay, and this rarely happens. Okay, these things take years and years and years to develop. So keep that in mind. Singles and doubles. Be consistent with your trading. Again, hymns. Nice sell-off here into the end of the week. We want to wait for a green dot. We want to wait for things to calm down. And we'll look for an entry off that next signal there. Match. Again, I like this thing with a stop loss at 30. I'd probably put it at like uh, 29.50 on the stop. Watch for a green candle coming on Monday. Okay, see where that thing opens up. Airbnb. Also, really, really nice looking candle here on the monthly. You can see a beautiful, beautiful reversal form in here on the monthly chart. Okay, we're on the daily here. And what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six days of pulling back. So this one has pretty nice support right there at uh, about 130. Okay, waiting on the green dot confirmation. But I think a bounce off of 30 is inevitable. I think it's going to happen. We're, we're going to watch this thing on Monday. If you get a green candle on Monday, I would take a position here. Okay. Nice, nice five-day pullback. Again, stochastic RSI. The light blue line is sitting here on the floor. All that's missing is a green dot, and I think that thing's going to come here this week. So Airbnb is probably my favorite entry so far. Uh, obviously, polka dot showing a green dot today, but it's already up 10%. I'd like to see a pullback on the hourly, maybe into the into the blue line here to, to risk a little bit less. But again, crypto could go par parabolic here. This CRO trade for me is, is a bet on a parabolic move. Okay. The dots up here, okay, the dots up here, the green dots up here are a lot more risky than the ones down here, okay, than the ones down there. So keep that in mind. So dots probably number two so far. Uh, X, I really like X too. I'm going to move X up underneath Airbnb. What do we got? Okay, we got a monthly green candle and a green dot on the monthly. Okay, and this is United States Steel Corporation. This is also a stock. So People are very bullish on American manufacturing because of Donald Trump being elect, elected president. He wants to bring jobs back to America, which means that's going to be good for uh, uh, manufacturing companies and people that make the materials because he wants to buy stuff from the United States and not from China. I don't know why people think that's such a bad thing, but X is one that's on my watch list ever since he got elected. So what am I looking at? Again, a monthly green dot and a green candle. Wonderful. Let's look at the daily. Wow, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five candle pullback. Beautiful. What are we going to wait for? We're going to wait for the first green candle or a green dot on the indicator to enter. Okay. And I think this thing's going to bounce probably right here around $34, $35. That's where you'll get the bounce. Wait for the green dot for confirmation, but that's going to be number two on my list uh, so far. Snapchat also moving up there. That's going number three for a stock. Uh, and this thing right now is, again, pulling back. What do we got on the monthly? on the monthly chart. We got a green doji candle on the monthly on Snapchat. And personally, I think fundamentally, I'm very, very bullish on Snapchat just because of how big their user base is. That I, I think they're either going to figure it out and start making money, or they're going to get bought out by somebody bigger like TikTok, or uh, they'll get bought out by Facebook or Google for a valuation that's probably 10 times higher than what they're sitting at right now. You can see they've been doing really good on their earnings. They've been beating their earnings, beating their earnings, beating their earnings, beating their earnings. Uh, and they're sitting at 1060 right now. So again, as a technical trader, I'm looking at, yes, I don't have a green dot yet, but I got a green doji candle on the monthly, which signals that this could potentially be a reversal on the monthly chart. The Bollinger Bands are very, very tight right now. I can't even believe this thing's back at $10. So they beat their earnings and it went from $10 all the way up to 13. That's a 30% move. Okay, what do we do? Then the stochastic hit the white dotted line where we should be taking profits, and then that thing sold off. And where is it now? It's sitting right here at zero. So we're keeping an eye on Snapchat, and uh, I think this thing has a very, very good chance of holding on to $10 here. Let's wait for the green dot for confirmation. The green dot will be called out over here inside the alerts when it happens. And again, if you guys have the trading indicator, you guys can go ahead and set an alert up for yourself just by right-clicking on the chart and hitting Add Alert. I use the small green dots here. All you got to do is click the buy small green dot after you right click. And then I do once per bar. And then you're going to want to set your expiration. I have a certain trading view plan that allows me to set open-ended alerts, which means I never have to 
uh, set the alert twice. Once I set it once, I will always be notified of when the dot comes. And then you just have to hit create and then you will get an email. You'll get notified in the app and you'll get a notification uh, sent to your phone and inside of the desktop as well. So pretty much you'll know when that dot comes. They, they make it so you know when the dot comes. Uh, that's how you set up an alert though. It's pretty simple. I use a special code to get it over here in the Discord, but you don't have to do that. Again, I use this small green dot for the alerts because that's going to notify me of every single one. These other ones are different types of green dots, which I'm not going to get into in this video. The small green dot, in my opinion, is the only one you have to worry about. And then for the cell signals, I also use the uh, small red dot as well to let me know when that signal hits. So I think Snapchat definitely holds on to 10 here. Again, the stochastic sitting on the floor. It looks good. Just waiting on the green dot there on Snap. Uh, dot we covered. Silver. SLV. Everyone's super bullish on silver. It looks a little overdone on the monthly chart to me. Uh, where we're going to want to play this is the next green dot on the uh, daily. Again, the, the blue wave hasn't been way down here since August. Okay, that was back here August 9th. Uh, that was at $24. It pumped up to $27 there. Pulled back, gave you another one right there at $25. Pumped up to $30. I don't know. This is this is silver. I, I personally think the trade is in crypto right now. But uh, it, it's had a very, very big pullback over the last two weeks, which is what we like to see. Like a lot of red. The more red, the better, in my opinion. Okay, wait on the green dot on SLV. That one could set up here this week. A lot of people bullish on silver right now. I'm laughing my ass off at all the people that buy gold and silver, though. I, I just, over crypto. I mean, they have been wrong for the last 10 years. Okay, crypto has outperformed every asset over the last 10 years. Most stocks, I would say. Bitcoin's been the number one performing asset over the last 10 years. Up like 16,000% or something like that. Absolutely insane. Uh, here's Cat. This is Caterpillar. Most of you guys know this. They have the big, uh, they have the big yellow machinery. Okay. Green dot on the monthly. So what are we doing? We're in here on the daily looking for pullbacks. And we got a one, two, three, four, five, six day pullback. Let's wait on that green dot. Let's wait for the stochastic to get back to zero. That could all happen this week. Uh, you got pretty strong support right there at about 380 where we tapped on Friday. Again, just wait for that confirmation from the green dot. Here's CLSK, Clean Spark. This is a Bitcoin mining company. Okay. This has a green candle right here on the monthly chart right now. Okay, so again, reversal on the monthly. That We want to be a part of those reversals on the monthly. We want to ride these big, big waves. And that is a reversal candle right there for CLSK. What did we do? Green dot came right there on the 6th. What happened? $10 all the way up to 18 That was an 80% move. And now we're getting a pullback. So the dot is red. What we want to do is wait for the blue uh, stochastic to get back down here to zero and give us a green dot. Okay, I think this thing will probably bounce around $12. That's where I'd be looking to buy the dip. That's right off the 30-day EMA, which is also part of our trading indicator. Okay, this is the Bollinger Bands with a 30 EMA. Okay, so watch for a bounce off that blue line, just like it bounced there, and just like it bounced right here. Okay, and again, if you guys do not have the trading indicator, you guys can get everything that's on my chart by coming over here to this tab and clicking on this link. It takes a couple of clicks, and everything I have on my charts, including the red and green dot indicator, and the Bollinger Bands is loaded directly into your trading view account so you guys can get started uh, right away. And I really don't think there's a better strategy out there. Obviously, I'm biased, but as long as you're keeping the macro time frame right in your site and making sure the move is in your favor on the macro, I think these pullbacks that happen on the daily are very, 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 very likely trades to win. Okay, your, your win percentage is going to go way, way up if you just wait for that confirmation on the monthly right you don't want to be buying an asset that's going like this okay if the if the monthly chart looks like this do not even be looking at it you want the monthly chart to be green and going up okay that is the most important thing to understand because it takes one whole month for one of these candles to form it takes a whole month okay 30 days so there's 30 daily candles okay 30 of these candles in one of these candles Okay, this is called candlestick math. There's 30 daily candles and one monthly candle. So as long as the monthly is going up, you know that the trend is up and to the right. Up and to the right. That's what we're looking for. Not down and to the right, up and to the right. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Okay, green dot on CLSK is going to be epic. I think if this thing hits $12 this week, you eat it up. 
Okay, and if the crypto run keeps going, obviously these crypto mining companies are going to do very, very well. Uh, UPS. Okay, this has been on the watch list for a while now. Well, at least back here since October, since we got this. I see some of you getting impatient here, but UPS is a delivery service, right? They deliver goods, uh, especially during the holiday season. This is going to be one of their best quarters just because of, right, how many people are ordering all this stuff online for Christmas and the holidays and all this stuff. They're likely to make a bunch of money during this quarter. And when companies make a bunch of money, they buy back their stock, which causes it to go high. So the fundamentals right now are really good. Again, green dot on the monthly. So what are we doing? We're in here on the daily. We got a daily alert here on Thursday, right there at about $32. It's sitting at 34 right now. You're up about a percent. I put the stop loss, call the stop loss right at, I'm going to put it right here at 131. Call it 131. You know what? Set it a little even deeper than that at like 129, 129.50. Let's call it 129.50. I still think, right? The trend is up and to the right. You guys are just so used to seeing crypto go to the moon that you're impatient. UPS isn't going to move 500%, okay? It's not going to do that. It's going to move 10 to 20 to 30%. It's a higher market cap company, right? The higher the market cap, the lower the, 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 lower the moves, right? The, the smaller the moves, but also the less risk. So UPS is a lot less risky play right now than something like CLSK. Because if you bought CLSK right now and it dipped all the way down to say nine dollars back back here that's a 30 percent loss okay but if you buy something like ups and you have your stop loss at 129 you're risking three percent instead of 30 percent does that make sense so the higher the market cap yeah it's not going to move as big but you're risking a lot less on the trade and i think ups is still a great great trade right here with a stop loss at 29 that one's still on the watch list i still like that one for those of you with a little bit uh a little bit more of a weaker stomach Go with UPS, okay? Take your 10, 20, 15, 30% trade and run to the bank with it. Profits are profits, guys. Uh, Mara, just like CLSK, this thing uh, also is a crypto miner, has a green dot here on the monthly chart, okay? So let's zoom into the daily. What's it doing? It's pulling back. So once again, I'm looking for an entry on this one at about 18, okay? That'll put us right at the 30-day moving average, okay? If that happens, okay, look to enter, okay? Wait for the green dot. Wait for the stochastic RSI to get back down here at zero, Okay, wait for it to reset, be patient, don't get FOMO, okay, and when it happens, pull the trigger, okay, if you're long on it, and you should be long on it, because why? You got a green monthly dot right here, and if Bitcoin explodes here, these mining companies are going to go nuts as well, so Mara's looking good too, let's move that one up a little bit, I'll put that one underneath dot, uh, dot, right, it's got the green dot today, so you should be looking for your entry today, I'd use the hourly if we get a pull pullback there, but... Again, we enter on the day of the green dot or the first green candle after at least a four bar pullback on the daily. Here's ETH. ETH hasn't even got the green dot on the monthly yet, but it has a nice reversal candle. So ETH hasn't even really ran yet, in my opinion. And it's got a daily reversal candle, kind of like CRO does right here. You can see that doji, that's a reversal. So if you're playing ETH here today, okay, you're anticipating a green dot on the daily. Come. Okay. And that should be that should put your stop loss at about three thousand. So you're risking about five percent on the trade right here on ETH, bouncing off our nine EMA. That's going to be our our orange line here. This is a nine day moving average, exponential moving average, which means the average price over the last nine days it's bouncing right on that price. So your stop loss needs to be at about three thousand on ETH. There. Here's Wolf, another crypto related stock. Okay, let's move this one up as well. And looking for an entry on this one around six bucks. Uh, what's the monthly saying? The monthly's green and pointing straight up. Okay, I believe we called this one out at like a dollar. Okay, a while back. Yeah, I think we called this one out like right here, like two dollars back in the day. It had a massive run up, sold off. Right here's the wave, sell off, pump, sell off, pump, sell off, pump, sell off, pump. Okay, now it's selling off again. So waiting for the stochastic to get back near zero. It's getting pretty close. We have a three-day pullback. We wait for a minimum of four days. At least that's what we generally try to do. And a green dot. So uh, again, that 30-day moving average is right there at about six bucks. That'd be a good place to watch for a bounce and a green dot. But just keep an eye on it this week, right? We're waiting on the green dot confirmation uh, for an entry. Okay, we're entering on the day of the green dot or the first green candle that we get. Uh, we got super. This one looks interesting here today. Okay, this is a doji candle. I know it's not green, but it is red. 
Uh, entry on this would be 125. The monthly is pointing straight up. So you'd be anticipating the green dot here for an entry. But 125 is going to be the stop loss. That's the bottom of today's candle. If I switch over to the normal candles, you could see that the candles are green here. Okay, that's a good looking pattern there. Set your stop loss at 125. I'm actually going to move this one up to uh, right around. I'm going to put that one number two on the day. With a, if you can get your get in right now and a stop loss at 125, I think this one looks good. That's not a very risky trade. That's about 4%. And with the way the markets are moving right now, crypto markets are moving again, you're, you're betting on a, a parabolic move right here. Okay, and again, the monthly is still green. So super is going to be number two on the day. And you got like a 4% risk on that with a stop loss at the bottom of today's candle. Okay, and I'm, uh, you'd be anticipating a green dot coming tomorrow. Stochastic isn't quite down there on the floor yet, which kind of worries me. But again, as long as you set a stop loss at 125, you're risking 5% uh, on the trade. Uh, Tesla. Tesla started to pull back last week uh, on the daily. You can see we're starting to get some selling here. Uh, the monthly chart, again, is still green and pointing straight up. So what are we doing? The last dot is red. So we're, we're, we're taking profits, right? We were taking profits up in this area at 340 to 360. And now we're waiting for this thing to sell off. We're waiting for the stochastic to get back down here to zero and give us a green dot. Okay, we're not quite there on Tesla yet. But if you can buy this thing in the 260 to 280 range, that's going to be epic. Okay, a bounce off of that 30-day moving average would be awesome at 260. That's what we're waiting on. And a green dot from Tesla would be great. Here's DJT. This is Donald Trump's media company. The candle is still green here on the monthly, and we're sitting at the bottom of it. Uh, we got the daily chart selling off here. Again, you should have been taking profits up here uh, at 55 when we were very overextended. This kind of looks like XRP's chart right now where we're just going absolutely parabolic. It's sold off. Okay, again, this is going to happen with XRP eventually. Okay, there's going to be a bunch of bag holders. That they're like, oh, it's going to $1,000 a share, man. $1,000 a coin. <clears throat> okay, get denied here and sell off. Okay. DJT needs a green dot. Again, that will be called out over there in the Discord when it happens. Here's Ave, Avave, or however you say it. AAVE, another cryptocurrency, is green on the monthly. So what are we doing? We're in here on the daily. You got a doji candle showing today. So if you're playing it, okay, stop loss at 163. Let's move that one up a little bit. I'll put that one underneath Snap. I'm going to put Super under Snap. I really like these three stocks this week, Airbnb, X, and Snap. And then these three for crypto, and you got some crypto miners and stuff in there as well. But these are, I like these more because they've sold off more, right? Their stochastics are on at the zero line. X has sold off really big, right back into the Bollinger Band green line, which is generally a place where you want to be buying. Okay, right there at 34, stochastics on the floor, Airbnb, stochastics on the floor, five-day pullback. Those three stocks look really good. And then Super is probably my, my favorite pick for today for an entry. I got to put CRO in there as well. If CRO can hold on to this one 15.5 uh, level, okay, 15.5 level, and we get a green dot tomorrow, this thing should skyrocket back up to like 23 cents and maybe even go higher. So those are my top picks so far. Uh, what are you guys thinking? What are you guys liking? Am I missing anything? Uh, Riot's got a green dot here on the monthly as well. Another cryptocurrency miner. We're over here on the daily chart. Okay, looking for the pullback. Watch for this one to bounce around $10. Yeah. Okay. Uh, he take the dogs. He take the dogs. Go. I'll be, I'll be done in a few, babe. Uh, Riot's pulling back here. Uh, watch for a bounce off at 10 there. Uh, we got a red dot again. Green on the monthly. Wonderful. Okay. Daily chart pulling back here. We're looking for a bounce off at 10. Uh, INJ's got a green dot today. So if you're going to play it, put that stop loss at $24. You're risking about a dollar there on a breakout. And the monthly chart is green here on INJ. Okay. That doesn't look too bad. Again, if you're getting the green dot, what you want to do is set a stop loss at the bottom of the candle. So 20, call it $24 on a stop loss on INJ today. This one doesn't look bad with a green dot showing up right here, right now. Uh, link, chain link, also green on the day today. Stop loss is 1340. Okay, right at the bottom of that green candle, you're getting the green dot on. This doesn't have a green dot on the monthly, but it's got a beautiful, beautiful uh, doji candle here. 
on the monthly chart, which is a reversal candle. Okay, you can see the last one came back here in September at $8. It went all the way up to 24 for about a 400% move, and it's bouncing right on that 30-month moving average. Okay, the daily is trying to take off here and go parabolic. So uh, I like this one as well. Let's move this one up with the cryptos. Uh, Chainlink's going to be up there probably. Chainlink will be my top crypto pick for today so far. I, I really like that. INJ looks good too. Super looks good. Ave and DOT for crypto. Link's going to be the top one though, right there with a stop loss at 1346 if you're looking for an entry today. But again, the green dots up here, guys, are a lot more risky than the ones down here. Keep that in mind. This is a bet. This is a trade based on a parabolic breakout for Chainlink. So 1340 has to be your stop loss if you're taking a trade. If it breaks that level, you need to sell and we'll probably get back in around 12. But this is a very, very good looking breakout right there. Super, super strong with volume. Okay, I got to go to lunch here in a sec. So I got to finish up here. I'll get to your guys' chart requests real quick. Okay, if you guys have chart requests, I'll answer these next week. Uh, on Tuesday, I'll, I'll drop a video, maybe Monday, but get your chart requests over here and I will cover them. If I missed your guys' chart requests today, I forgot that I had a lunch planned uh, today, so I'm only going to have to get through the rest of this watch list. I will not have time to cover these today, but if you guys get them in, I promise I will cover them in a video next week, just like I always do. Uh, just go ahead and drop them right here in the thread. Also, if you guys have questions about the strategy or general questions about investing or trading, Feel free to drop those over here as well, and uh, I will go ahead and answer those on a on a video just like this uh, on the next one. So if you guys got requests for charts, you guys want me to take a look at those, or general questions about trading or investing, feel free to drop those, and I'd love to give you guys uh, my insight and my thoughts. Uh, here's uh, AVAX also green on the monthly here. So again, we're betting on a big move over the next couple months. Okay, look at the daily. The daily's trying to break out here with a daily dot right there. Bang, your stop loss is going to be right there at $32.46. Uh, Actually, move that down. Just call it $32. Make sure 32 or 31 holds. Okay, 31.80 holds. But AVAX looks really good here today with the green dot showing up again, though. The green dots up here are much more risky. That's why we need to set these uh, stop losses very tight. Set that one at 32 on AVAX. Okay, but that thing looks like it could break out. Nice monthly candle here. It looks good. Okay, I'm really excited about the monthly charts. These green dots are extremely, these are the most bullish signals you can get. Okay, the last dot literally came like six months ago. So uh, AVAX is looking really, really good. Uh, again, green dot showing up today here, looking like it wants to go parabolic. So 3240 is going to be your stop loss. That's the bottom of this green candle we're getting today. STX. STX is still green on the monthly. Okay, no dot yet, but that dot is coming. This is one I got stopped out on not too long ago. Uh, right before the election, they stopped us out, and then they gave us the green dot, and then it just absolutely ripped. It hit, already hit 230. Uh, it's trying to reverse here as well. If you're in the position, I would set a stop loss at 180. It's also got a nice green reversal candle showing up here today. No dot yet, but if it comes, there will be one called out. This is another cryptocurrency, low market cap. This is actually a layer two built on the blockchain of Bitcoin. So the monthly chart, again, looks really, really good. Let's play the daily, wait for the green dot, or enter on this green candle right here, and set your stop loss right there, call it 185. Here's Comp. Comp has a green doji candle right here on the monthly. I really, really like Comp here. Let's move this one up. I'm going to put this one under link just because it's on Robinhood. And it has not moved in literally two years. Okay, it's been bouncing around for two years now. And you can see this doji reversal on the monthly right here looks really, really bullish. Uh, and the daily looks like it's just now wanting to break out. Got a green dot today. Let's put the stop loss on this one at 47. This is going to be my number two crypto pick on the day. Comp. C-O-M-P. This is Compound Finance. Uh, XTZ also breaking out big here. Doji candle on the monthly. Let's put this one right underneath comp here. Okay, doji on the monthly, which indicates over the next few months, we're going to be going up. Okay, and the daily is just, that's a massive candle there today. 10%. Look at that. Okay, 72 cents at the bottom of this green candle. Big green candle with volume. Green dot. Boom. Okay, up 10%. If you can, wait for a pullback on the hourly. I mean, look at this thing, dude. Volume is freaking flying in. You even got a green dot on the weekly chart here as well. Okay, XTZ looks really, really good. That's also tradable on uh, Robinhood as well. Wow. Just wow. And BCH also. Green dot on the daily here too. So our stop loss is going to be around 420 on this one. 
Okay, 420 on the stop loss. And you also have a breakout on this as well. This dot was called out here November 1st at around $350. I mean, you guys are already up a massive, massive amount on the dot. Okay, boom, came back here November 6th at 338. I mean, you're already up a big, big amount here. That's a 41% move. It sold off. Bang, green candle today at 427. Okay, stop loss right there. And this one's really trying to break out off the dot here. So, guys, we could see a big parabolic move here next week. Okay, if these charts are doing what I think they're going to do, look at that. Zcash is already up another 10% since I started this video. Things are about to go nuts here, folks. Things are about to go nuts. And uh, you, you guys are seeing this happen in real, in real life. I mean, real time. Uh, Jasmine doesn't have the green yet, but... Um, you know, it's kind of a lagger. So if you're playing this one, I think a green dot's going to come today or tomorrow. Uh, stop loss right there at two cents on Jasmine. This one has uh, had a really big move back in uh, back in the last run up all the way to five cents, and it's sitting at two right now. Stop loss at two cents on Jasmine. Here's uh, Adam, also doji candle. I know it's not green, but it should turn green here by the end of the month. This wave is way, way down here right now. So we're on the daily here, and again, green candle. So you could see this pattern. I mean, this is the same pattern across the board off, off all the stuff, off all the crypto. Okay, all of them are showing green dots today, which indicate a move higher. Stop loss at five twelve on Adam right now, and uh, we're watching this thing like an absolute hawk. Okay, but five dollars is where this thing's trying to break out of. Beautiful looking trade there. Okay, again, same kind of pattern here on Filecoin. Filecoin's another one that hasn't really moved yet. Let's look at the monthly. What's the monthly doing? You can't even really see it. Okay, let me take that away. It's green though, okay? It is green, okay? Green on the monthly. So now we're in here on the daily and we're looking for these pullbacks and these green dots. If you're entering on today's green dot, your stop loss needs to be right there at $4 at the bottom of today's candle. Here's SEI up 17% on the day, okay? Nice green candle here. I don't really like to buy things that are already up 17%. But 45 cents is going to be your stop loss. If you can get this on an hourly pullback, maybe into our moving average here, or better yet, the green line, that would be epic. Okay, 45 cents, though, is the stop loss off the green dot here on SEI. Here's VeChain, also up 15%. Big breakout candle. Look at that volume coming in there. Big, massive volume there on VeChain. Okay, put your stop loss at 0 0.026 on this one. Monthly chart, look at that, one, two, three, four, five, six months of pulling back. Uh, first green candle in six months, okay, on the monthly, and now the daily's breaking out here on this candle. 0 0.026 is going to be your stop loss. That one looks really good. And then you got QNT, last but not least, up 33% on the day. Green dot right there, okay, and that monthly candle looks like it's just getting started. This alert was triggered today over here inside the Discord, you guys saw uh qnt is showing a monthly green dot on the chart boom that thing's ripping it's got the monthly and the daily going off on the same day big 33 percent move so watch for this one to just go parabolic as well this is another one of those payment coins kind of like uh xlm and xrp but uh, i'm not a big fan of buying stuff up 33 percent but if you can watch this one this week and get it to pull back to like 69 to 72 right into this hourly line right if your name is up really really big on the daily you can zoom in even more to the hourly chart and just wait for a retracement okay for the stochastic to come back down here you get a green dot on the hourly boom you're then inside right there's 24 of these candles 24 hours in a day in one daily candle so from the monthly right you want to go to the daily and then if your name's up really big on the daily and you want to pinpoint it even more Go to the hourly and wait for the pullback and the green dot, folks. That is the watch list this week. My top picks are going to be from, I mean, these are all my top picks for the week. You should be watching all of them. But I really like these names right here, Airbnb, X, Snapchat, Link, Comp, XTZ, Super, AVAX, and INJ. Today's November 16th, and you're seeing the green dots just show up right here, right now on the daily charts. So, um, you know, make sure you're using your stop loss at the bottom of the candle, the green candle that you get the stop loss on, just in case you're wrong. But I don't see anything slowing these markets down right now. Um, and everything just looks like it wants to go parabolic. Again, my only position is CRO right now. I got a stop loss. I'm going to move my stop loss up to 0 0.0155. My entry on that was 15. And uh, we'll see what happens, folks. I think CRO could definitely get a dot today or tomorrow and jump. But I really like Link. I really like Comp. I really like XTZ. 
everything in the macro is looking really, really good. And these three stocks right here, Snap, X, and Airbnb, just look like they have a lot of potential to reverse this week. Just wait on those green dots from the daily as long as the monthly is green. And you can't go wrong, folks. You can, but this strategy is anywhere from 80 to 85% accurate. Okay, it is tried and tested, and I've made a ton of money using it. Okay, and uh, with that being said, I hope you guys got some value out of this. If you did, smash that like. Uh, all the links to everything in the Discord are pinned in the comment section or in my bio. Uh, you guys can check those out. And if you guys, once again, want the trading indicator, just come over here. You guys can get everything that we talked about today on the indicator. You guys can get the Bollinger Bands and this indicator with the red and green dots loaded directly into your TradingView account. Uh, if you guys want to become a member, you guys can get my watch list every week. Okay, I drop these every single week. This was the blue list. Okay, I'm going to drop the green list in here right here right now. And you guys will be able to load these things up. Okay. Okay, this is November 6th. Boom. Okay, so I dropped the blue list and the green list. Remember, the blue list is the ones that are just too overdone right now. Okay, XLM. Just, I'm not going to buy it way up here at 20 cents because I wanted to buy it down here, right? The move has already happened for us. So we want to wait on the pullbacks. Look at XRP hitting 120 right here, right now. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. If I would have waited two days, I would have made an extra 60 grand on this trade. Um, I'm not going to say it doesn't hurt, but I'm, I'm happy, right? I'm happy with taking profits. Uh, never never going to get greedy, right? We don't want to get greedy. That's how, we, that's how we hurt ourselves, right? We want to sell into the greed, not just hold the bag and be a bag holder and then destroy ourselves when everything sells off. Uh, we'll see what happens, folks. I mean, the, the markets really look like they want to take a parabolic turn here. The monthly charts are looking really good. So over the next few months, I don't think you've got anything to worry about. Uh, we're just looking to play the waves, right? We're looking to buy the pullbacks, capitalize on these big parabolic moves, and then buy it when it sells back off, folks. Hopefully you got some value out of this, guys. i got to get to lunch again. If you guys got chart requests uh, for the next video, go ahead and drop them over here inside the Discord, and I'd be happy to cover them. God bless you guys. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.